Jesus says, you are in a battle. Always prepare and listen very carefully. May 3, 2022 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, O Lord our God, will you not judge them? We have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Amen. Jesus began, Things are taking time, and this is all by design. It is planned that food shall be scarce during the hottest month of the year, when people are most volatile. Forgive me, Lord, I'm caught up in making provisions for the community. Is this wrong? It is futile, because you are not relying on me. Don't you know that I hold the cattle, the plants, the water, and all the means of sustenance in my hands? It is a distraction. Lord, I'm consumed with this. I know. Better for you to concentrate on what you are doing for souls and leave the rest in my hands. Really, this is an issue that is distracting you and I would like you to release it and trust me. It is taking away from what is really important to me. Do you understand? Make a suggestion and then drop it. Focus on the gifts I've given you. Writing, music, intimacy with me, cleaving to me through all the distractions. You must enlist others when you are being taken away from your work. You cannot allow this to happen. They're directly attacking those around you to create chaos and concern that shifts your focus from your music to the distractions they cause. Beloved, I'm giving you a new grace, the grace to ignore the things that are not under your jurisdiction. You will not be here much longer, and I so desire to see you finish your work to the most that you can. The fasting is helping, and I've not abandoned you when you fall, I just nudge you with a feeling that this is disordered, and then it is your turn to listen and obey. Please, Claire, I try so hard to get your attention by a feeling of disquiet, a whisper, if you will. This is not for you to do. You are not using your time wisely. Practice this every day and see if you do not get a monumental amount of work done during that time. So I'm going to be calling on the community to relieve me. Lord, I receive this grace and I will try. That is my good girl. Then I asked him about what just happened here. One of our people had an epileptic seizure and the other had a heavy and extremely painful oppression. You already know it. You just do not trust what you hear. They sent missiles of evil to disrupt your prayers, because your prayers are highly effective. Please listen to that still small voice and stop doubting, beloved. You should know by now that when these things happen, they are sent to disrupt prayers and pull all of you off course. And I'm thinking that the principal demon orchestrating all these things is a spirit of destruction. How long are you going to allow these things, Lord? That is not the right question. What you should be asking is, where are the holes and how can you plug them? Also, what food you could give up as a fast offering? Maybe you can even ask me to train you in the usage of the weapons you need to prevent these things.
There will always be assignments against you until the world is cleansed of evil. These make you stronger in fighting so you can gain the victory over your assailants. You most definitely need to increase your strategies and expertise with your weapons. Each of you sees or senses something. Let that be written into your prayers and approaches to evil. It is much better to go on the offensive than to be a sitting duck drawn into a defensive posture to protect yourselves. You need to learn more about your weapons and how to use them. How to prepare for a meeting so it will not be disrupted. Things will get more intense. You must prepare ahead of time through fasting, prayer and exercising your gifts. Above all, allow no disunity to come between you. Stay a united whole, building one another up, never allowing yourselves to find fault. You're soldiers in my army, and just like any other soldier, you must drill and acquire the skill to be prepared for what is coming. I do bring up the areas you need to strengthen, but sometimes you are so distracted, lethargic, and not paying close attention until the battle hits you, right in the face. By then it is much too late, so you sustain injuries. I wanted to learn the art of warfare and never allow the enemy's narrative to take over. Rather drill him right back down into the ground to hell and claim your victory. You have so many weapons, but you are abysmally short on how to implement them. This is because you are not listening very carefully and you miss my instructions until the enemy is upon you. You have the means to shut him down, so use it, my beloved ones.